On the Health Watch now, medical marijuana is legal in several states. Synthetic drugs are designed to imitate marijuana and are available on the internet and even at local stores. 38 states, though, have banned the sale of these products due to the harmful effects of the drugs. Pediatrician Dr. Susan Harp joins us live from the newsroom this afternoon. Dr. Harp, good to see you. Nice to see you. What makes these products so dangerous? Uh, well, the products uh, known as K2, K3, Spice, there's some other names for them, have uh, been around, they came to widespread uh, notice in about 2008. Uh, these are plant-based drugs designed to imitate the effects of marijuana by chemicals being sprayed on them. Um, and the uh, dangers are that um, some folks uh, think that it's just as safe or some teens think it's uh, like uh, a spice from a cook's kitchen. But these are very dangerous products. Uh, there are many side effects including high blood pressure, uh, increased heart rate, and there has been actually a recent study shown uh, that a series of folks that have presented to the hospital with acute kidney injury or kidney damage, were even, some of them even requiring dialysis. Uh, there are also tens of thousands of patients nationally that have presented to emergency rooms with symptoms of heart attacks, even young teens. Well, wow, how widespread is this problem? Uh, well, a study in 2011 of high school students showed uh, a little bit more than 10% of teens admitting to have tried it. Um, another national study has shown about one in nine teens have um, admitted to trying the product. Um, and even though um, within the state of Massachusetts it's illegal to sell a product designed to alter consciousness when smoked or inhaled, um, these products are, are, are unfortunately available. Uh, local uh, police officers work with store owners to make sure that they realize the dangers of these products, uh, but they are marketed to teens. They're in colorful, attractive packages, and um, unfortunately, even though the labels do say not intended for internal use, um, experimenting teenagers can sometimes be lured into thinking that they're safe. So what do you recommend to parents? Uh, well, frank conversations are always a good idea. Um, pick a time where everybody's relaxed, where you can spend some time on a conversation with your teen, um, and talk very frankly in a non-judgmental way. Sometimes an easier way to start the conversation is to talk to them about sort of what they hear around school, what their friends are talking about, sort of what their experiences are as opposed to directly asking if it's something that they are using or they are trying. Sometimes you can have a little bit more of a relaxed conversation when you start off in a very general way. It is really important when you're talking to your teens about uh, using drugs or drinking alcohol to include in the conversation these synthetic drugs because some teens don't really feel that they're a big deal or that they are potentially harmful and they can be. That's right. Real or unreal, they can be a danger. That's Thank so you, true. Dr. Harp. We appreciate it. If you have a question for Dr. Harp, you can always write her at Ask the Doctor at WWLPTV, P.O. Box 2210. Or for more information, just log on to our website at WWLP.com.